for the decapitation, we needed to rig it with blood. So we ran blood lines, and we make our own blood out of caro syrup and food coloring and all that stuff, and rigged it on set and dressed it and attached the head and lobbed it off with the shovel. And I remember I was up there throwing the head down, and like we had to roll the head directly right into the camera, and we did take after take, finally got it. But Yes! Yes! Take two. Ready and action. <laughs> One thing we were always aware of, always, was red blood is bad. It, it, anytime any of our characters were killed, there was black blood, there was green blood, there was dark red blood, there was yellow blood. But at that time, the consensus was red blood would be bad for the ratings board. And the ratings board isn't going to want red blood, so let's come up with different colors. So even when Bruce chops his hand off, and, and we don't see the actual chainsaw coming in and making contact, but we pan away and we sprayed a little blood up onto his face. But all of that stuff was done um, with the intention to make it a little cartoony for the ratings board, as well as that was, you know, where Sam was going with it. And then she comes. All right, we got it. Anytime I would have the camera on Bruce and, and, and Sam or Bruce and Rob or somebody, they'd be talking, they'd just stop and go, hello. What we're prepared to do here is a very scary scene. As you know, we're about to shoot a very dangerous scene, Greg. So watch out. And they would always go, we're going to hook a cable right up to Bruce Campbell's chest right here and pull him through the, um, through the car. Uh, we're about to shoot a very dangerous stunt with Bruce Campbell. We've attached a line to his throat. Yes, I will be lying on my stomach. Whoop. He's usually lying. lying. Yes, and uh, they're going to be hooking up to my skin. I've well, got to go now, Sam. They're going to hook me up. Good luck to you, Bruce. Thanks, Good luck. Sam. We know this is very dangerous. I hope you can survive this. Thank time. you. One, action! They built basically a box with the, that protected the camera on a pole, and they, they would ram it through the car windshield, you know, and it would go through the back of the car and out the front of the car and over the hood. So it was the Ramo cams. <laughs> Sam just loves to torture Bruce. <laughs> yep. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, twenty-thirteen, twenty-fourteen, twenty-fifteen, twenty-sixteen, twenty-seventeen, twenty-eighteen, twenty-nineteen, twenty-twenty, twenty-twenty-one, twenty-twenty-two, twenty-twenty-three, twenty-twenty-four, twenty-twenty-five, twenty-twenty-six, twenty-twenty-seven, twenty-twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty-ten, twenty-eleven, twenty-twelve, twenty-thirteen, twenty-fourteen, twenty-fifteen, twenty-sixteen, twenty-seventeen, twenty-eighteen, twenty-nineteen, twenty-twenty, 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 twenty-tw
muck would just muck. pull out of his pour out of yeah, his feet. He was feet losing and legs. pounds and pounds every single day in that suit. Ted was the first actor we saw, so Teddy came in and we, you know, it took three months, I guess, to do the makeup in the suit. Now the Vaseline so the plaster doesn't stick, right? Right. We had a fiberglass uh, body of Ted Ramey that we had we first brought him in, and as you can see in the video, a full body cast of him. Funny thing about being in plaster, and that is we did a polyfoam outer skin which now we use foam latex, but at the time, um, we didn't have an oven big enough to bake a full body cast in. So we did uh, fiberglass molds on Henrietta and then did a polyurethane foam skin. Underneath that, then, we did a bean suit, which is uh, it's a bunch of sacks filled with lentil beans, right? Mm -hmm. They're all sewn and hanging in various areas on uh, an undersuit that the actor puts on, and then our skin goes over that, and that way, when they move around, you get some jiggly motion, you know, in the breasts or in the belly. <laughs> I don't feel too good. I think I gotta sit down. Oh. Say, there's lentil beans down here. What gives? <laughs> Get your hands up, fresh. We brought everything with us unpainted, and Mark painted it in the shop. So we'd go to set. The three of us would go to set and execute the gags, and Mark would be in the shop, you know, painting. And I think we had two suits and a, mm -hmm. and a, a dummy that we used when it got its head cut off. So, you know, it took about three months to put all that together. Hey, Kathleen, how many hours did you say it was? So I had to go on? Two hours. Two hours. Did you say it was two hours, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Listen, yeah, uh, just, I need so you to like bite and start pulling back just a bit with your hair. When you feel you've got a clump, start pulling back a bit. Okay. Then we did a reshoot where Bruce first turns evil, he lands in the water and he comes up, he's evil. Sam wanted to do a transformation in the eye, so. Seen the eye change pre, from pre-morphing and yeah, pre-morphing. <laughs> so Bob built this oversized head of Bruce. It was you know a liquid-filled eye, and he and on cue injected milk into it, and it would cloud over. Swirled on. I was the contact lens technician on set. They would have to rehearse <coughs> all the scenes without their lenses in so they could see where they had to go. Then they would go, okay, we're ready to shoot. And I would run in, put all their contacts in, and then they would sh do the scenes. But what people don't realize is their contact lenses were completely white. There was no hole for the pupil for them to see. Three! Ah! Three! Oh! Oh, hold it. Oh. Oh. So they were completely blind. They would rehearse every sequence, then we'd put the lenses in, and then they would have to act. So a lot of times when you see them sort of jerking and walking, and they're not sure, if they look like they don't know where they're walking, they didn't know where they were walking Especially because they were evil completely Ed. blind. Yeah. Especially the shot with Danny Hicks where Bruce pops up behind him and has mm -hmm. to grab him in the face. <laughs> you can see Bruce come, ah, and he's sort of yeah. feeling for where the actor's <laughs> face is because... They were completely blind. And the scene where Bruce is breaking the dishes on his head, that was one of the first scene sequences that we shot. Bruce did all his own stunts. Especially when he grabs <coughs> the, ba the back of his favorite. head and flips himself in the kitchen after he does the, the, whole, uh, mm -hmm. the whole dish breaking on his head. Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. Bruce is the king of that, flipping himself over. You know, he's the king of that and the king of acting in reverse. So yep. He's the only guy that can do acting in reverse. Just right. It's perfect. This is a plate shot. Bruce is really, really involved with everything. I mean, that pertains to him, you know, his look and his gadgets and all that stuff. Pee-wee head's going down, man. He's going down. 